New York. And I'm sure many of you have heard what they had there. They had the Erie Canal between Albany and Buffalo, which they finished in sections. Some of those same workers that helped to dig those canals in New York came to Ohio. And who were many of the workers? Mainly Irish and German immigrants. Now, I don't know about the rest of you on this boat, but my ancestry is Irish and German. That's my ancestry. Just out of curiosity, if I show up hands, do we have anybody else that's Irish or German or both in you? Would you raise your hand? Look, the hand's going up. Okay, you put your hands down. Thank you. But that's amazing, isn't it? That's who did most of the work. They were paid by the state of Ohio using hand tools such as shovels, picks, wheelbarrows, and slip scoops. 30 cents a day. Plus they got room and board. There was little shanties built by the state. Sometimes they weren't very clean, those shanties. And contractors would sometimes hire women to cook their meals, be their seamstresses, and do their laundry for them. But they would work away, sometimes 12-hour days, using those hand tools, getting blisters on their hands, hurting their backs, sometimes lifting. Now, if any of you ladies on board, because we have a number of ladies on board there, think you were left out. Let me give you a few examples of what kind of things they did. Not only cooking meals, but there was a place up north here. Maybe some of you heard of it. Here we have a place called Zor. That was a commune. The women carried the dirt. They were working just as hard as the men were. So there were places where women were involved, too, doing the work. The youngest that helped out, those men were doing all that digging on the hot days during the summer, were nine-year-old boys. You wonder, what would a nine-year-old boy do? Well, they'd carry water to the men. They would also lead the animals. They used a lot of oxen, because a lot of farmers back then were using oxen. And the oxen would pull the logs out of the way. You know, they to chop trees down, because there were trees every place. So they were getting those logs out of the way. They would do sometimes help do a little bookkeeping if they were nine years old or maybe older than that. Help do some of the bookkeeping, keep records, you know. So they did different jobs, those young boys would that they would use for that job. But these Irish and German immigrants worked from sun up to sun down, and they started digging away after they had a ceremony over near Newark, Ohio, on, now listen to this date, get a load of this date, July 4th, 1825. You know, we celebrate with red, white, and blue and firecrackers, right over there close to Newark. Now they dug in half-mile sections, half-mile sections, and they kept digging away and the ditch had to be at least 40 feet wide at the surface, 26 feet wide at the bottom, and 4 feet deep. Those were all minimums. Now, when I say minimum, there were some places that were 120 feet wide and more than 12 feet deep. So you see, they got a little care to <coughs> there. All right? But they were paid 30 cents a day and got room and board, digging away half mile sections, and the first section they wanted to get done is where two of our cities were starting to grow, even though one of them was an Irish shanty town. Cleveland and Akron. They wanted to get that done first. So the contracts were allotted for that, and they put a lot of workers. About 2,000 workers and 3,000 animals were involved. And what was some of the hardest work? Well, if you've ever seen locks, you ever seen, like we have lock 26 and 27 across the highway, and if you're local, you'll know that there's two stones, sets of stones. Chiseling out those huge stones and putting them in place with manpower. That had to be monumental. Sometimes they had separate contracts just for the locks, you know, for a group of locks, because they were so much work. But there were 44 locks put in place between Cleveland and Akron, that whole distance there. So they got that done in two years exactly. Two years. The date the first boat went between those two cities was July 4, 1827. How do you like that? That same date again. 